parking here and then there was a dead end because of construction. But I found this place. Looks like an old school place. Look at these funny door handles. The thing is you just walk around and then you find stuff. Better view of this place. Okay, so this is what I got from this place. I had no clue what to get. I really just walked in. I saw this, like a bun or something that's filled with meat. I'm really excited to eat this thing. Um. There's a lot of meat in this. It's definitely beef. It's dry. Whew. It's very hard to swallow. Reminds me of this canned beef I got once. The pastry does nothing for me. The bland tastes like nothing. It's kind of just like a case for this meat. It looks so much better than how it tastes. Maybe I got a bad one, but I wouldn't get this again. Maybe I, I should try something else from there. There's a lot of things in there to get. I'm not going to write off this place. I like old school places. I like places that have history. This one item is not the best. Yeah, now I got the strudel from this place. Strudels, I like strudels. This is an apple strudel. Let's give this a go. It's kind of dry for a strudel. I got to say. It doesn't taste that fresh to me. Guys, I'm, I'm really kind of depressed right now. I've really built this place up in my head. I thought this was going to be some kind of old school. They had these old school secrets that nobody else had. And it was going to be fresh and amazing. And, uh, not the case right now. Like that beef thing is something, that's something you'd maybe feed your dog. I'm going to go back. I'm going to try something else. This is day two. I wanted to do an official review of this place out of respect for the history. So I did some research and this is the official review. Hello everyone, today I am reviewing Yitz's, a classic Jewish deli. 1972 it opened and there used to be lineups for this place back in the 70s. Lots of people would go there. A lot of famous people would go there too, including Matt Sundin. But unfortunately, the owner passed away, I think in the year 2000. And so things have, from what I've read, kind of been going downhill a little bit for Yitzes. Recently, there has been a lot of construction in that area. And it's hard for people to get into Yitzes to get their classic food. A lot of old people, they can't get in there anymore. It's completely obstructed. And Yitzes is forced to deliver the food through taxi cabs and run the food out to people. It's kind of a nightmare. This tree, I saw this tree here and I saw that there are berries on this tree. Now, some of them are kind of ripe. Here we have one. Let me pick one. Now, I don't know if that's a poisonous berry, but I'm going to take a gamble. I'm going to try this out. I'm going to do a review, a quick berry review. Um, it's pretty sweet. It's got a nice tartiness to it. Kind of tastes like a blackberry. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I like that berry. 
and this is the difficulty every time you walk there's a uh, obstruction and you gotta then go over cross the street then you walk down this way and there's more obstructions then you gotta go back over to this side and you're constantly going this way this way this way that way All right, look look at this street non-stop construction everywhere you go it's crazy I'm walking here another dead end I gotta go back. This is the streets right now. And you just gotta continuously zigzag around. Yeah, off this way. I started off with the matzo ball soup and I gotta say this is the first time I've had a matzo ball soup. It was good. This one was really good actually. I was surprised. The soup was super salty and it tasted just like a chicken noodle broth. Sitting in the soup was this kind of mashed up baseball of a spongy bread. It was like if you took some Wonder Bread and you rolled it up into a ball and you just dropped it into a soup. It was something like that. It was like a bready thing. That I kind of broke apart with my spoon and I ate it and I liked it. It was, it was good. <laughs> Now, the texture of it was bizarre. It's like you're eating soggy. You know, something that a duck would eat? A duck would love to eat this, I bet. You know, you throw a loaf of bread and it just kind of sits in the water and the ducks come in. Soup was good. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Okay, so this is the part of the video where I showcase how much of an idiot I am. I accidentally ordered the same thing that I ate in the previous video. <laughs> this meat pastry is called a kishka or something like that. And I was trying to order a latka. If that's what it's called, I thought it was something else. It, I mixed it all up. They all kind of sound the same. And I ended up ordering the same thing again. And so I had to eat this shit thing again. I really don't like this. I don't like this thing. It was gross. I added some ketchup and mustard to it. That helped. Not good. Definitely not good. It just had a weird taste. It had, had a weird meat flavor I didn't like. And it was kind of dry. Here is a nice looking sandwich. You can see there, there's a height of meat on there. It looks nice and fatty and juicy. But uh, too bad it didn't taste like it looked. It was horrible. It was not good. It was actually the worst of this kind of sandwich I've ever had. just saw there was some kind of intercom system that they had where they would communicate with each other from different rooms but I could hear what they were saying and the guy was like yeah she's parked out by the Tim Hortons and he was like well tell her to come over here on this side or something like that and that was just kind of an awkward moment and I could overhear this and it's just the dilemma of all this construction and 
people can't really park in front. So it's just, it seems like a nightmare. I had to actually, I feel bad when, you know, you feel bad at a restaurant when you're adding salt to the food. Usually that means that the cook didn't do a good job. Overall, they give the sandwich a 2.5 out of 10. Guys, with, uh, with all this, in all this construction happening she said it's gonna be around it's gonna be maybe three or four more years of this construction i don't honestly think that place is gonna last it's sad but i don't see it happening it was completely empty i was one of the only people there